Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Brother GH. My name is Adam. So guys, today is Sunday. Happy Sunday to you all. In today's video, I have latest updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players, which includes Mohamed Kudus. Today, West Ham are going to play against Newcastle United, and we are going to talk about the possibility of Mohamed Kudus starting in that game, and also what we expect from Mohamed Kudus. Also, we are going to touch on Thomas Pate. Yes, in the big one for Arsenal as they play against Manchester City in the English Premier League. That is one match I believe everyone is going to watch. We are going to talk about what to expect from Thomas Partey and the possibility of him also starting in that game. We are also going to talk about Abdul Fatal Ishahafu. You are going to talk about Tariq Lanth and also Kamal Din Shigemada. So guys, it's important that you stick and stay and also subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Also, don't forget our giveaway in the month of October is still ongoing. Comment under this video and any other video we drop here on Sports Corner GH and start the chat of winning yourself a free GC of your choice. Very, very simple. Please make sure to participate and make sure to comment under this particular video. So, guys, let's jump into it and start with Mohamed Kudus. Today, West Ham are playing against Newcastle. Now, most people have been asking, when would Mohamed Kudus start in the English Premier League for West Ham? So far, Mohamed Kudus have had three starts. For West Ham, and in all those three starts, West Ham has not lost the game. Two in the European League and one in the Carabao Cup. And all those games, West Ham won those games. And in fact, Mohamed Kudus, anytime he starts for West Ham, has shown that Tani, the talent is there. He performs very well. He performs above average. And all the fans of West Ham are excited with the performance of Mohamed Kudus. Even to a point that the last game they played against Bybeck. Most fans were now calling the coach of West Ham, David Moyes, to start Mohamed Kudus in their next game that went to play today, which is against Newcastle. Now, the big question is, would David Moyes start Mohamed Kudus? Per my own opinion, this is based on my opinion, I believe he will still come off the bench once more. Yes, I believe Mohamed Kudus is going to come off the bench once more. Because West Ham are going to face Newcastle, that is on four. Newcastle, that's called PSG. I believe... Coach David Moyes is going to stick with his regular starting 11 and bring Mohamed Kudus off the bench to replace Mikhail Antonio. Yes, this is based on my own opinion. It could change or it could be that Mohamed Kudus could start. But all we expect from Mohamed Kudus from that game is that whether he starts or come off the bench, even if it's 10 minutes, please give your best. That is the most important thing you see. Even if it's 10 minutes and you change the game, everybody sees, everybody recognizes you. Yesterday, for instance, McTominay came onto the pitch in the dying minute of a game where Manchester United were already losing. And he used about close to five minutes plus extra minutes to actually change the whole game. And he is the one everyone is talking about. Not those who played 90 minutes. Everybody is talking about Scott McTominay. So the most important thing is not about you starting or playing the full 90 minutes. It's about what you can do if the chance is given to you. That is the most important thing. That's what most people are not even thinking about. Everybody wants Mohamed Kudus to start. Okay, yeah. But what we expect from him is that even if it's 15 minutes, Mohamed Kudus, do your best. Finish. That is all we expect from Mohamed Kudus. Nothing more, nothing less. If he scores a goal or give an assist or he doesn't even do any of those two, I don't mind. By the end of the day, Give a performance that would even make everybody be talking about you at the end of the day. It's very important because, you see, the English Premier League comes with that hype. So if you do well and continue to do well, everybody will be singing your name. And it's very important that Mohamed Kudus gives us this particular performance we expect from him. So, guys, keep your yeah, down locked on Sports Corner GH. I'm going to bring you every update from that game. Player statistics. If there are videos, I'll make sure to bring it to you live here on Sports Corner GH. So we talk about Mohamed Kudus' performance for West Ham versus Newcastle United. Now, moving away from Mohamed Kudus, let's talk about Thomas Partey. Now, Thomas Partey, we know, is now back from injury. He has been integrated with the rest of the Arsenal squad. In fact, their last game against Arsenal, you all thought Thomas Partey was going to play a part in it, but he didn't. He was on the bench throughout. And Mikel Arteta was asked, you know, Asked that about Thomas Partey's availability or the possibility of him playing against Manchester City. And the coach says, yes, Thomas Partey is going to play that game. That one, yeah, there's nothing going to cancel it. In fact, I believe that was the reason why they didn't risk him against our ceilings. They believe that they want him to get some time, get some strength, get some rest ahead of the game against Manchester City because that is a defining moment in the English Premier League for both clubs. And I believe Arsenal might come on top with the fact that Thomas Partey is back into the squad, it gives them a boost 
But my only thing I expect from Ateta is use Thomas Partey in the middle, not as a right back. That is very important. You see, Thomas Partey flourishes better when he's in the middle. So we should, uh, I just pray that he, he uses Thomas Partey in the middle of the pitch instead of that right back that he has been experimenting Thomas Partey in. So guys, this is just the, 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 the latest on Thomas Partey's availability and also starting for Arsenal. Now, what do we expect from Thomas Partey? It's very simple. The usual. He should just give giving those forward-thinking passes. He should just perform so well so that Arsenal fans will know what they were missing when he was injured. So that he will shut a lot of critics down because those of you saying, oh, Arsenal can do better without Thomas Partey and Cole. I, I mean, put that aside. You understand? I believe Kai Havertz should be benched for Thomas Partey to come and play. It's very important. And see, I'm going to give you every update of that game. Arsenal versus Manchester CC. Thomas Partey's performance, his player rating and everything. I'll make sure to bring you that update live here on Sports Corner G8. And let me know your prediction down below in the comment section. Now moving away from that, let's talk about Harry Kilamte. Yes, Harry Kilamte. Um, Brighton and Hove Albion will be playing against Liverpool today. Another big one. Yes. So, as uh, you see, our Ghanaian players today are playing a lot of big games. So, guys, I'll make sure to bring you all the latest updates. Now, before I even talk about Tariq Lamte, they played a game in the Europa League on Thursday. And Tariq Lamte was voted the player of the match. I, I didn't bring you that earlier, so I'm bringing it to you now. He was voted the player of the match. That game ended in a 2 2 draw between Brighton and Hove Albion and Marcel. In the first half, Brighton and Hove Albion didn't do well. In fact, most of the votes even came from Tariq Lamte's position. But in the second half, they changed things around. They turned things around. Tariq Lamte was alive in that game. He changed things around. And he, because of that, he was voted the player of the match. Now, going into this game, what Tariq Lamte starts? Because Brighton and Hove Albion don't have a definite starting level. It's like today, Tariq Lamte is playing. The next day, he's on the bench. He's coming off the bench and all those things. We just hope that... That consistency starts. He starts the game for Brighton and Hove Albion against Liverpool. Because this is big game. And one thing I know about Tariq Lamte is that he is the man for big games. When it's big games, he turns up. And we want to see what he's about to give to the Black Stars. So we want to see him in that Brighton and Hove setup against Liverpool. Then we anticipate, oh, okay, this is what we are expecting from Tariq Lamte when it comes to the Black Stars and we are going to play against Mexico and also USC. So guys, this is the latest on Tariq Lamte and... We'll make sure to bring you all the statistics, the player rating and performance, life in response to energy, it's once that game's end. Now, let's move on to the games that were played yesterday. And I want to start with Abdul Fatah Ishahaku. Honestly, Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is on the rise. Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is silencing a lot of critics here in Ghana and also those also in sporting because he has now cemented his position at Leicester City as a starter. Yesterday, against Coast City, he played 85 minutes. In fact, the second goal Leicester City scored, he contributed to that goal. He didn't give the assist, but he gave the pass to the assist before the goal was scored. And it's very important we talk about this. Ando Fatali Shahaku is doing an excellent job. Currently, he is one of the players that create a lot of chances for Leicester City. Only one player in Leicester City surpassing. And currently, here. Yeah, Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is on another level. I just pray that his loan move is made a permanent one. Just in case Leicester City are being promoted to the English Premier League because this boy is really turning his life around. He's turning his career around. And it's very important that Abdul Fatah Ishahaku is doing this. You can see his statistics on your screen. And this tells you a lot. Dribulu, he's there. Chances created, though, he's there. Key passes, he's there. Everything is there. He's doing so well. He's doing the right thing. And I believe that he's allowing himself to be coached. And the coach also has a lot of confidence in him, allowing him to start games. I mean, this is a great, great, great one for Abdul Fatah Ishahak. Leicester City won that game by 2 goals to 0. And they're doing so well in the championship. Now, lastly, let's talk about Amal Dini Suleimana. Now, Amal Dini Suleimana plays for Saddam Tin. And Saddam Tin played against Rotterdam. And that game, it was all about Amal Dini Suleimana. In that game, Kamal Adin Suleimana completed three out of three dribbles. See, Kamal Adin Suleimana, we know one of his biggest strengths is dribbling. But one thing that he has added to the dribbling that I have seen this season for Saddam Tin is that he is productive with that dribbling. When they were in the English Premier League, the productivity wasn't coming. You will see that he is working and everything, but then end products, you know, we were not seeing it. But now, the end product is now coming small, small. And I believe this has to do with a lot of coaching. 
a lot of coaching that has gone into this. He is not part of the blaster squad to play US and Mexico. Same for Abdel Fattah Ishahaku. But these two players are doing so well for their club side. And it's very important we talk about them. The Ghana black star players are on the rise. We have a lot of good players. So I believe that when they come into the black stars, no matter what, even whether the coaching is bad or not, they should be able to be professionals and perform very well. So guys, this is the latest I have for you concerning Ghana and the black star players. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Mohamed Kudus, whether he's going to start for West Ham versus Newcastle, let me know your thoughts. Are we going to see Mohamed Kudus go to get? Let's know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Thomas Pate versus Manchester City. We're also going to talk about it. And Tariq Lafti versus Liverpool. I'll make sure to give you every update of those games live here on Sports Corner GDH. I'll see you in the next video. Charlie, we go vibe.